Hi. I'm Henning. Henning Pauli. The guys from Toman asked me to make a short video, yeah, as if that's gonna happen, and uh, tell you who I am and what I do. Who I am, you know, Henning Pauli. So what I do, I do a million things. I apparently now do pedal demos. Two years ago, I ordered some Harley Benton pedals and thought they were awesome and started to do some demos and I didn't even know there was a demo thing happening on YouTube. And so I've been doing this for two years, demoing pedals, getting more and more followers and getting crazy with the videos. And now I do pretty much pedal demos kind of only and nothing else. So Toman said, hey, if you know how to demo a pedal, then why don't you go ahead and do that for our website? And then we had to figure out how to do it really well. And so you see back there is my pedal testing station. And we had to figure out how to light them correctly, what background we wanted to use, the format, how we show the setup, which is extremely important. It's at the end, by the way. Skip to the end and you can see the amp, the mic, the guitar that's been used. Um, and this took quite a while to figure out. How do you, if you have to give the pedal back, how do you make it so the pedal actually stays perfectly in place if it doesn't have rubber feet? There's a lot of little things to figure out. How do you perfectly get it angled and lighted perfectly? All these things, we figured them out. So that's what I do. What's my background, you ask? You don't care, do you? Well, I, I studied arranging and sound design at Berklee College of Music in Boston and then I moved to Los Angeles where I lived for six years and did progressive rock albums with people like James Silbury from Dream Theater and some people like that. So um, that's kind of what I did. And then I moved back to Germany and now I've got my little studio right here, 42 studios. Can you, can you see that right there? So here's what we do. We have the same amp every single time which is the Fender Hot Rod. And it's running through the pedal. Sometimes, well, the, I pick the guitar, obviously. It's my choice and no one else's. And then sometimes if it's a phaser, flanger, something like this, and we want drive, I'd pick a drive pedal, which you don't see, but just know that I'm picking the right one. And it's always the same amp, always the same mic. And um, it's being sent through the fender. But actually, I have a second one of these, number two, down in the basement. Let me, let me show you. So in my basement, I have these ISO cabs and in there I have a hot rod and it's being mic'd beautifully without any interference. And that's actually what you hear in the videos. And I go ahead and for some things, you know, I, I have to play things live. And sometimes I loop it. Obviously when I'm twisting the knobs, I can't play at the same time. So I'm using the beautiful Ditto from TC to loop things for you guys. And anything else you need to know? Hmm. No, that's, that's kind of it. That's how you make a pedal demo. Loads of things to figure out. Um, for every demo, there's three completely new riffs that fit the pedal perfectly. So it's never ever the same thing. And it's a lot of stuff to come up with for you. So that, that you have a perfect, actually tailored sound and riff for the pedal. So I'm hoping that these demos will give you the opportunity to really make an informed buying decision. I really hope so. We put a lot of work into these. So Thanks, Toman, for giving me this opportunity because it's pretty much a dream job. I get to play with pedals all the time. <laughs> Go away now.